respected students welcome back everyone so today we are going to discuss like what to do next after power bi and sql you all know that in last 3 years we have done around thousands of placement from our channel directly and indirectly so there has been i have got many uh, comments on our youtube videos or message on instagram that what to do after power bi and sql there has been many students who has went and uh, completed power bi reports properly in their real time projects so now what to do after that okay so there are three tools three technologies you should focus in 2025 26 after the power bi and sql which will help you to get bi lead and bi architect position designation after few years and around 30 to 40 lpa package also so let's start the video but if you are new on our channel make sure you are subscribing and pressing bell icon for all upcoming videos so the first thing you should focus after power bi sql is microsoft fabric okay microsoft fabric is a complete unified platform it's like a data engineering plus data science and data analytics also in uh, microsoft fabric like you can create etl pipelines view store procedure data flow uh, lake house is there if huge amount of data is there sql analytics endpoint option is available so whatever data engineering activities whatever it is there you can do there even uh, you all know that in data analytics power bi the power bi premium license which was there in uh, power bi service that has been called off vanished now till end of 2025 everything will be finished even migrating has been started to fabric workspace but make sure you are using 128 256 capacity so that it can handle performance also so you all know that in data analytics also real time analytics we can do in fabric so that's the best part data science part like machine learning ai everything fabric is handling even the one leg option is there there has been many options in fabric everything unified integration is done in fabric and in india currently in india there are no professional microsoft fabric developers available so if you will learn end to end properly till let's say mid 2026 anything okay like that so you will get very good amount of package and Uh, try to complete dp 600 and dp 700 exam as well the second thing is azure databricks azure databricks is a cloud based uh, platform and if a huge amount of data is there not in gb i am telling about tb and pb then azure databricks is the best option in my last two years i have worked on three to four projects in that two projects i have used azure databricks as a data source okay that's the best part in that even the notebooks are, are available in there like uh, sql python r languages there everything huge amount of data in my previous project like 3 uh, to 4 crore rows were there in uh, fact tables and even the more data was updating on daily basis but azure databricks the best part it was handling it properly so azure databricks the best thing is like is that if you know sql it will take like uh, 15 20 days or max one month to learn the azure databricks so make sure you are learning that it will help you in your resume also and the third thing is power apps okay where the microsoft certification is pl100 proper that power apps maker pl900 is like a uh, power platform fundamentals but make sure you are doing power apps uh, pl100 which is power apps maker but power apps is hard to learn i am not demotivating it uh, demotivating you but i am telling the real scenario okay there are two types of app canvas and model driven if you are able to do it even the us western clients which are there right now they are also demanding when you are creating the reports they are demanding uh, power apps also like uh, they should see in the mobile view also everything okay and there are many options available customizations in the power apps even i had worked on that i have created multiple canvas and model driven um apps there the best thing is that but it is not that easy to learn in this three the hardest to learn is power apps that the reason i have given uh, in sequence i have told you third in that point but go with fabric then you can learn azure databricks it is very easy to learn you can also learn azure databricks from youtube youtube also and then power apps in power apps you should learn how to do customization how to fetch data from one drive sharepoint excel that's the most common data source which is used in power apps and don't learn only canvas also learn model driven and let me tell you in next one year till end of 2026 let's say 
if you will learn all these three skills no one is going to stop you to become a bi lead okay this video is not for freshers this video is not for a guy or candidate having one or two years of experience those who are three plus and those who have worked on multiple two three real time projects 15 20 power bi reports for them it is there and if you learn all three skills properly you will definitely get 30 40 lpa package with bi lead position okay but make sure you are also having microsoft certification so thanks for watching till end and please subscribe channel and press bell icon for all upcoming videos thank you